Oh, mate, it must be so awesome to walk those steps ah. as a competitor and just feel the, the buzz from that crowd. Mate, there's there's nothing like it in, in pro surfing, and they're those things that you think about as you're an aspiring pro surfer. Will I get the chance to walk down those steps as a pro? And when you actually do it, you paddle out and you look back because those steps are your lineup position. But he gained so much ground. He was up at Rincon when he took off on that first wave, and he was able to speed down the line. I haven't has seen speed out here making those sections since Felipe Toledo and his speed that he carried at Rincon. Oh, and here is uh, his second wave on the replay, but Kipes is spot on with that call, Reg. Ah. He has looked lightning fast on, on his run through to this point in the competition, Rio, and he's going to have to stay on his game because Cade Matson's looked sharp too. Yeah, Cade's uh, obviously going to have the advantage uh, of power in this matchup between Rio and Cade. And uh, well, Rio, he's picked up another wave under the priority here of Cade Matson, and it's a good looking wave too. He got some high risk maneuvers done outside, got the air, brings it all the way through to this inside section. Does he get the finish? Yep, gets the little foam hit and ejects before that rock shelf exposes itself. So let's have a look at the air here. Rio takes to the air, gets a perfect launch pad. Look at the arms up high, helping to uh, get that momentum. Gets the rotation, brings it round nice and clean, jumps straight back into the bottom turn. Climbs the foam again. Gets some tail release there. Cade's got the priority with some decent looking set waves approaching. Rio forces the decision, but it's an easy one for Cade. He wants to get himself a good score out of this one. Sets up that first section. Oh no! And this is what happens as the bowl starts to fill up. But a good-looking wave here for Rio. Well, you know he's got the speed to get out in front of it. Hammers the first section. More of a transition turn, though. Oh, no! And he does the, the same thing as Cade. And this wave has been softened. It's a bit more slopey. Rio streaking down the line on this one. Gets the first hit up and over the foam. Jeez, he looks poised to just attack here. Great bottom turn. At this point, everything looks good. And then, unfortunately, just the nose pearls. Not enough pressure on that back foot, and he goes down. Well, he might get an opportunity here. Looks like he's having a, a, a solid paddle at this one. He's a big unit. He's got some big turns he can lean into. A float just setting up, trying to find some flow here at the moment. This wave's starting to flatten out. And oh, no. He doesn't want to spend any more time trying to juice numbers out of this one. Uh, a multiple wave set coming. Rio Aida in the box seat now. Well, Rio's going to take one of the first rides, and let's see what he can do. Some bump on the face as that tide starts to fill in now. Rio just transitioning. Here's the big section, and he plants a, a nice hit on it, and he's going to stick with it and see if he can't add some extras on the inside here. Looks over his shoulder. Still has momentum and finds a bit of a transition to keep that speed as he rolls through to the inside now with a big finish. He can stick the best number on the board at this stage. Just a, a flowing turn as he kicks out on the inside. But it won't be a monster number. Might be pretty comparable to his early rod. Streaking down the line here. Just waiting for this section to build up. A nice slice, but it was cut short because oh. he needed to get to that one. And on reflection, it was a, it was a pretty intense closeout manoeuvre. And he got some more work done down here, perhaps putting one more point on the board. But, um, yeah, that big closeout turn, it actually had some sting to it. Yeah, it feels like it's going to be the best number of this heat so far. And he did well to commit through to that short break section. As you said, Rich, in a close heat where the numbers are going to be pretty, pretty low. Uh, is pretty special, and I think uh, Rio... Well, he's gained a lot of fans over the last couple of seasons. Comeback wave here for Cade Matson. Already moved up to 23rd position, but that's still outside the cut line. So Cade Matson wants to make this ride count and get himself potentially into the semis here. He's fighting to get back out in front of this wave. Had a really nice fin blow on the outside. And he knows that if he can finish this one off, it'll get him back in the heat, maybe with a chance. In the final stages to turn it around. 
calls for the ski. A flow that, that was sort of absent from this one. Gets a nice drifting flow to the start things off. This section starts to get quite bowly. Blasts the tail and unfortunately just gets caught behind during these major moments on this wave. There was points to be had here. And, uh, well, he's only going to uh, be looking at a mid-range score. For me at best, Ron. But maybe that's enough to get him back in this heat because he's still got time. Two and a half minutes. We just need the ocean to cooperate. But he really did just dodge the bullet there. It wasn't a composed performance. He's going to have to clean things up as he goes up against a mistake for a Griffin Colapinto, who is the man to beat in this contest at the moment.